From Cairo, Egypt, it's Disney's Aladdin on Ice. Starring four-time world champion Kurt Browning as Aladdin and Olympic gold medalist Christy Yamaguchi as Jasmine. No, no. Putting the final touches on tonight's very special presentation, Aladdin on Ice. Hello, I'm Michael Eisner, head of the Walt Disney Company. Tonight, we take a magic carpet ride to the exotic land of Egypt. There, in the shadow of the towering pyramids, we'll watch two extraordinary ice skating champions, Kurt Browning and Christy Yamaguchi, as they bring to life the love story of Aladdin, a young street boy, and Jasmine, a lonely young princess. Now, if you had a magic lamp, you couldn't wish for a better evening of family entertainment. So hang on, we're off to Egypt, but first, a short visit to another exotic and magical place, Disneyland. Oh, easy flash. Good boy. In the name of magic places near and far, my faithful steed, Flash and I, bid you welcome. Tonight, under the stars of this heavenly canopy, we come to share a legend that desires to be told once again. <laughs> and so it shall be told, for across the golden sands of time, over countless centuries, I have heard many stories of love and adventure, but none, my friends, none greater nor more enchanting than the story of that royal raven-haired beauty, Princess Jasmine of Agrabah, and the street boy named Aladdin. To be free, 
That was Jasmine's wish. Only then she felt would love in all its truth and wisdom find its way into her heart. Oh, it'd be wonderful to see the world outside this palace. To be free. So strong was Jasmine's desire for freedom that late one night she made a brave decision to discover the world that waited beyond the high palace walls. Oh, I'm sorry, Raja. But I can't stay here and have my life lived for me. I'll miss you. And so the princess disappeared into the darkness, hoping love would find her. Goodbye. While Princess Jasmine explored the marketplace in disguise, the adventure of a lifetime was about to begin as Aladdin, our hungry hero to be, looked around for a little breakfast. One jump ahead of the bread line, one swing ahead of the sword. I steal only what I can afford. That's everything. One jump ahead of the wall, man. That's all, and that's no joke. These guys don't appreciate I'm broke. the facts. You're my only friend, Abu. <laughs>
pokes One skip ahead of my doom Next time, gonna use an arm to boom One jump ahead of the hitman One hit ahead of the flock I think I'll take a stroll around the block Stop it, Randall Outbreak Let's not be too hasty Live, gotta steal to eat, otherwise we'd get along. For a trophy, street rat! All this for a loaf of bread? Whoa! There he is! Who won't get away so easy! You think that was easy? <laughs> it's time for fate, that unpredictable rascal, to enter our story. Somewhat bewildered by the busy marketplace, Jasmine innocently helped herself to an apple, unaware that things in the real world had a very real price. Observing Jasmine's mistake, Aladdin was struck by the young girl's great beauty. He came to her rescue, and taking the beautiful girl by the hand, they escaped from the angry merchant. Jasmine's heart raced. What fun to be rescued by such a brave and handsome boy. As they fled through the busy market, Jasmine was amazed at how she trusted this dashing young stranger. Princess Jasmine. Watch your head there. Oh, be careful. Ugh. Is this where you live? Yep. Just me and Abu. Come and go as we please. That sounds fabulous. Well, it's not much. But it's got a great view. Up to the highest rooftop they had climbed. And there, in all its ancient splendor, Aladdin showed Jasmine his favorite view of the royal kingdom. 
a gift of wondrous shapes and sounds that the princess had never seen or heard before. Princess Jasmine felt her heart beat faster, and Aladdin, trying to appear cool, wondered if this royal princess could have feelings of love for him as he suddenly felt for her. This looks pretty amazing, huh? Oh, it's wonderful. I wonder what it'd be like to live there. And have <clears throat> servants, and valets. Oh, sure. People who tell you where to go and how to dress. <laughs> That's better than here. You're always scraping for food and ducking the guards. You're not free to make your own choices. Sometimes you feel so... You're just... Trapped. trapped. Yes, yes, I'll tell them, Abu. <laughs> Listen carefully now. For now, it's time to reveal the sinister twists and turns of the villain of Agrabah, the Sultan's chief advisor, the nefarious Jafar. Oh. Oh, certainly, Abu. Abu. <laughs> you must excuse Abu. He gets a little apprehensive during this part, and who can blame him? see, it was Jafar who found Aladdin with the princess and had him thrown into prison. And there, in the dampness and the spider webs, disguised as a kindly old beggar, Jafar said to the boy, You're only a fool to give up, boy. Who are you? A lonely prisoner like yourself. But together, perhaps we can be more. I'm listening. There is a cave, boy. A cave of wonders, filled with treasures beyond your wildest dreams. Oh. Treasure enough to impress even your princess, I'd wager. Jafar, can you hurry up? I'm dying in here. Uh, the law says that oh. only a prince can... You've heard of the golden rule, haven't you? Whoever has the gold makes the rules. <laughs> So why would you share all this wonderful treasure with me? I need a young pair of legs and a strong back to go in after it. Uh, one problem. It's out there. We're in here. Mm -mm -mm. Things aren't always what they seem. <laughs> of course, Aladdin agreed. And soon he found himself standing at the entrance to the Cave of Wonders. Disturbs my uh, it is I, Aladdin. Proceed. Touch nothing but the lamp. You remember, boy, first fetch me the lamp, and then you shall have your reward. Come on, Abu. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Would you look at that? <laughs> Just a handful of this stuff would make me richer than the Sultan. <laughs> Don't touch anything. We gotta find that lamp. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, don't go. Maybe you can help us. <laughs> you see, we're trying to find this lamp. I think he knows where it is. Here, up here. Higher, higher. Up, 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 up. Ah, there we are. Just getting a bit comfortable. Now. Come closer, because the next part of the story, I must admit, is one of my favorite parts because of the magic lamp. Uh-huh. Watch this. Well, one keeps hoping. But Aladdin's lamp, on the other hand, was the real thing. You see, with just one small rub of his lamp, Aladdin's life would be changed just like that. <laughs> Why, you hairy little thief. Looks like such a beat-up, worthless piece of junk. Hey, I, I think there's something written here, but it's, it, it's hard to make out. <laughs> years will give you such a crick in the neck. When I was Papa had them 40 thieves, Sherry's out, he had a thousand tapes. Master, you in luck, cause up your sleeves, you got a brand of magic never fails. What you wish, it's yours, true dish, about a little more baklava. Pass some a column in. They're all a column B. I'm in the mood to help you, dude. You ain't never had a friend like me. Friends pull it out the little hat. Can your friends go? Woo! Hey, looky here. 
<laughs> you know, friends go abracadabra, let it rip, and then make the sucker disappear. As long as you sit there, like your buggy eye, and I'm here to answer all your midday friends. You got me bona fide, certified, you got a genie for a charge that fails. I got a power to help you out, so what you wish, I really want to know. You got a list that's three miles long, no doubt, well, all you got to do is rub like so. Wish or two or three. I'm on the job. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never. I have more to tell you about Aladdin and Jasmine when we return. As you recall, we left our young lovers in a bit of a quandary. Aladdin, with his new friend the genie, puzzled over his gift of three wishes. And Princess Jasmine wondered how she'd ever again find the boy from the marketplace. Then, thinking himself not worthy enough to be loved by a real princess, Aladdin made his first wish. Hey, can you make me a prince? Oh, uh, let's see. Chicken a la king? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's in king crab. Ow. I hate it when I do that. Caesar salad. Ah! At two brute? Nope. Aha. To make a prince. Now, was that an official wish? Say the magic words. Genie, I wish for you to make me a prince. Hang on to your turban, kid. We're gonna make you a star.
Like her jovial father, the princess enjoyed the colorful spectacle. But all the while, she kept thinking, how curious. The prince looks so familiar. Wondering about the prince, but remembering the boy from the market, Jasmine's imagination took flight as love unfolded within her heart. I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when did you last Let your heart decide Have patience, sweet princess. Love will find its way. In honor of Prince Ali Ababwa, the Sultan ordered a display of royal fireworks. And that's when, as it always must, the moment of truth arrived. It's all so magical. Yeah. It's a shame Abu had to miss this. Nah, he hates fireworks. He doesn't really like flying either. Uh, that is... Um, oh no. You are the boy from the market. I knew it. Why did you lie to me? Jasmine, I I'm sorry. Did you think I was stupid? No. That I wouldn't figure it out? No, I, I mean, I, I hoped you wouldn't. Uh, no, that that's not what I meant. Who are you? Tell me the truth. The truth? Now that Aladdin's true identity was known, Jafar's jealousy exploded in thunderous joy. Calling upon all his evil powers, the wicked consort devised a scheme not only to steal the magic lamp, but to once and for all destroy Aladdin. Get the point! <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up! 
Are you afraid to fight me yourself, you cowardly snake? A snake am I. Perhaps you'd like to see how snake-like I can be. Just when Jafar's darkest powers threatened to end our story, Aladdin recalled something very important. A plan to save Jasmine and to put Jafar away for hundreds of years. And this is what he remembered. As the genie had taught him, no matter how long Jafar fought, no matter how frightening he became, Jafar still had to obey the rules of the lamp. Slave, I make my third wish. I wish to be an all-powerful genie. All right, your wish is my command. Way to go, Al. You've certainly proven your worth as far as I'm concerned. It's that law that's the problem. Father? Well, am I Sultan or am I Sultan? From this day forth, the princess shall marry whoever she deems worthy. Him. I choose... I choose you, Aladdin. <laughs> Call me Al. And in Agrabah, that's how it came to be. Two young strangers, together at last. The kingdom rejoiced. In celebration, Aladdin set the genie free and invited Jasmine, his new love, on a magic carpet ride. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last? Let your heart decide.
It's time to bid farewell, dear friends. But before Flash and I continue our journey, let me tell you this. In that far-off kingdom of Agrabah, in magic places everywhere, the legend of Aladdin and Jasmine will always be told by people like you and me. Those of us who believe in the possibilities of love <laughs> and the fun of great adventure. And now to all of you, my friends, a fond farewell. Tonight's stars, Olympic gold medalist Christy Yamaguchi and four-time world champion Kurt Browning. Way up here, it's crystal clear, and now